butthole lips. <laughs> butthole. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a bunch of try-on swatches of some nude lipsticks. I originally was going to do a review on the Sephora favorites, give me some new lip, nude lip kit, um, and then I realized that it is no longer available on Sephora's website. So I put down all my filming stuff and I decided not to do it, and then I realized that's ridiculous because it has some really good products in it um, that are still great to review anyway. So because the kit is no longer available, I'm going to do a review and swatch and try on of everything in the kit um, and then add in a few more nude lip products just to see if you can find a new nude that you may like. Um, and nude is so subjective, whether it's like a concealer over your lips and it's an actual nude color, or if you mean nude as in it looks like your lips but just a little better. So if you're interested in finding a new nude, um, just keep watching and we'll go through a few of them. Okay, so the kit came with five lip products. One was a lip liner, and it is one of the Marc Jacobs gel uh, lip liners in Primrose, and it's a really beautiful color. Um, I'll go ahead and swatch it for you now. As you can see, this is definitely one of those just pale pink, um, kind of your lips but better color. It's a really great nude on my lips that are a little bit of the darker persuasion. So I'm going to apply this gel lip liner so that you can see it on. So I outlined and then colored in just a little bit so that it's not a stark line. Um, these Marc Jacobs gel liners are really, really beautiful. Um, they go on super smooth and they last all day for me. The next thing that came in the kit is probably my least favorite. Um, not because of the formula, the formula is beautiful, uh, just because of the color. So this is the Nude Sticks Lip and Cheek Pencil in the color Whisper. And this, on Sephora's website, it looks like it's going to be a really nice brownie nude, um, but it is so light on me, it has that concealer look. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and even put it over this Marc Jacobs because it will completely cancel it out and just look concealer nude. These are super, super creamy though. So that, as you can tell, completely washes me out and looks horrible. Um, let me know what you think about this because to me it's very uncomfortable. Um, not feeling, it's just very uncomfortable for me to see myself with this color. I think it's bad, um, <laughs> but you may think differently. Uh, but it is a beautiful formula, it's really smooth, I haven't worn it out and about during the day to tell you how long it lasts or anything because I feel so awkward in the color. But um, it's very smooth, very buttery, especially for coming from a stick. Um, I don't I don't know, I guess I just always think of those more like a, a harder lip liner uh, pencil. But when it comes from a pencil, I just think it's going to be a little uh, harder. But this is super soft, just like a lipstick. It's really nice. I would actually like to try one of these in a color that suits me a little better. So I'm going to wipe this off and we'll go into the next thing. So the next one I'm going to try is actually a cult favorite. Um, it's one of the NARS Audacious lipsticks and it's a really beautiful formula. I had not tried any of the sheer ones, uh, but this one is Dolce Vita, which is very popular. Um, and the shade is a sheer dusty rose, is how Sephora talks about it. And it really is. It's a sheer wash of color that you could put on with absolutely anything. Um, I have already tried this one and I'm a really big fan, but I will put it on and show it to you now. So you can see it just looks the same color as my lips, just a little bit brighter.
And this is one of those shades that you can totally put on without a mirror, not really worry about it. Um, and I haven't done a wear test to see how long it wears. It's obviously not gonna wear as long as a liquid lipstick or a matte color because it is sheer, but it is so comfortable on the lips that it almost feels like a balm. And when that's the case, it's like you could put it on throughout the day and not worry about having to take a balm with you. So that's really nice. It, it's a really beautiful color and a beautiful nude. The next color I'm going to try on for you is a Laura Mercier color. Um, it is one of her creamy lipsticks and it was so weird looking to me. Um, and you look at the description on Sephora and the color is called Milky Way and the description next to it, you know, they always try to describe what the color is. It says Milky Way hyphen brown. <laughs> so you're like, okay, it's just a brown lipstick. But it is the most interesting brown lipstick I have ever tried on. Um, and I'll show you, it's just, it's just super weird. Um, it's like a cool tone nude. Um, so there it is right there compared to the NARS Dolce Vita. This brown color, it is brown. Um, but it's just, you'll just have to see. It's very interesting. I totally see why it's called Milky Way. So I think this is beautiful and very flattering and would be on many people. It has brown color, it's just a brown lipstick, but it's very smooth and very buttery and it feels like a sheer lipstick even though it's not really sheer. I mean it definitely puts a wash of brown over your lips and it's, a, it's almost a pukey brown weird color. I can't describe it, but I totally see why it's called Milky Way and it feels very buttery on the lips and I think it would look good with a lot of different makeup looks, so that's cool. The last product that came in the kit, although I will show a few more items on the nude lip category, but the last item that actually came in the kit is a Tardis lip paint. and. I love trying out liquid lipsticks. You know they were all the rage this past year in 2015 and it's very hard to find one that will work when you have dry lips. I have very oily skin but my lips are the worst. I actually have to exfoliate them every single day and I put a lip mask on at night and I actually put a lip mask on during the day as well because otherwise they will just get really gross. Um, so this lip paint I'll have to try another color because I'm not sure how I feel about these. Um, I really love the Kat Von D liquid lipsticks. I really love Dose of Colors liquid lipsticks. But this lip paint, it really goes on like paint. And this is in the color Namaste. And again, it is just a nude color. It does have a little bit of pink. So you can see it's got a lot more pink than these brown colors that are also in the kit. So I'll show you what it looks like, but it does give you what people on YouTube call butthole lips, uh, where you can see that ring right here where your lip goes from the harder lip skin into this soft stuff <laughs> that's wet. Uh, so you can see how that works. Whereas most liquid lipsticks go on wet and then they dry down, this is, it really goes on like matte paint. Um, it is already matte when you put it on. So I feel super washed out with this on. I feel like it's weird looking. Um, if you like these and you've had good luck, good luck, good luck, well if you have a good look too with them, uh, tell me what colors you like because the Namaste color I feel like washes me out pretty badly. Um, but I am interested in trying other colors of it. It's an interesting idea. I'm just not sure if I can handle this formula. The, but I'll have to, I will actually wear this color out one day. I'll find a makeup look to go with it and try it out just to see if 
I'm just being weird at the first impression because it does feel nice. It feels almost like velvet, just real soft and buttery. Uh, it doesn't dry down and, and hold your lips like a liquid lipstick because the way it goes on is the way that it's going to stay. I'm kind of talking myself into liking this now, which is really funny because I really hated it when I put it on the first time, but talking about how smooth it is, maybe it'll work. We'll see. The next items I'm going to throw in are just some of my favorite nude lips, and some of them are that nudie nude color where they're more of the concealer shade, uh, but some of them are the your lips but better type of nude. And the first one I'm going to start with is this NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Tiramisu. It's just a really nice gloss that can go over almost anything and blend in with any makeup look. So these smell very vanilla-y. This is a very nudie color with a little bit of pink, a little bit of brown undertone but it's just a really universally flattering lip gloss, I think, and these are super comfortable and super affordable. You can get them at Ulta or the drugstore, I'm sure you know. But the NYX Butter Glosses are some of my favorite glosses. Going from extreme drugstore low-end to extreme high-end, uh, this is a YSL lipstick, as you can see with this beautiful packaging. Uh, it is number three, and I'll have to list below what the actual name is. It's so weird they don't put the names on the lipstick tubes. Uh, they just put numbers. This is a beautiful nude color. It's probably the, f I'm pretty sure it's the first nude that I ever felt comfortable wearing because it was more brown toned and it didn't make me feel washed out. If you have never tried a YSL lipstick, uh, you should get one of these. <laughs> they are so comfortable, they're so buttery, they smell nice, and I think there's a color for everybody in this range. Oh, My lips are gonna be dying soon. Another brown color is the Bobbi Brown lipstick in brownie pink, I believe. Yes, brownie pink. This one is looking sad. It is the first Bobbi Brown lipstick that I have ever purchased. Um, this is my second one. It's very flattering on most skin tones, and it looks exactly like the name calls it. It is a brownie pink. So this is probably still one of my favorite lipsticks that I've ever owned. If I just cannot find anything that I'm in particular wanting to wear one day, the brownie pink is a great fallback. That's why it looks like this. <laughs> but it's just a really nice pinky brown that is probably the best universal color. I think that I would call this the most universally flattering color out there. I, I just think it would be beautiful on everybody. So. That's my opinion. Have you tried it? Does it look good on you? Probably. The last one I'm going to show is one of the Bite Beauty hand cut cream lipsticks. I have no earthly idea why it was such a big deal when Bite Beauty came out with these hand cut lipsticks. So they're cut like this. Um, instead of having the little lipstick shape, they're, they all come flat. And this is Rosewood, which is a Your Lips But Better type nude, and it is really beautiful. It's got a little bit of plummy in it. Maybe it's not really a nude. <laughs> This is more for people who already have pretty pigmented lips like I do. Um, this just kind of darkens up my natural lip color. My natural lip color has a little bit of purple undertone, a little bit of plummy pink. So this rosewood, which has uh, a brownie plum under it, it really just enhances that lip color and makes it a little deeper. So that's why I'm still putting it in the nude category for people who have really pigmented lips. I 
I don't wear this one enough and I really like it. It's super creamy. So that is it. I hope you enjoyed this video looking at some different types of nude lipsticks. If you have a favorite, a fiver, if you have a favorite nude lipstick, uh, liquid lipstick, sheer lipstick, whatever, things that we've covered, uh, would you please list it below? Like if you, especially if you have similar coloring to me, uh, I'm always looking for different types of nudes because I feel like it's hard for me to wear them. Um, you'll probably notice a few times in the video I said, this washes me out. I feel like all nude Nudie nudes do that. Like I can wear the Your Lips But Better and I can wear some browns, but really nudie nudes, I, I've struggled with trying to find one that I can actually wear. So let me know your suggestions. I would love to hear them. And if you love any of the products that I mentioned today, if you would let me know, then thumbs up this video and come back and subscribe. That would be great. So I'll see you in the next video. Thanks guys.